All right, uh, this is a, a viewer question. He asked me if I could do a video on how do you suppress harmonics in an FM transmitter? All right, so here's an FM transmitter. Um, and this one is a dual band radio. It has a 144 megahertz and 440 megahertz. So, but that that's just shouldn't, shouldn't change anything about answering the question. All right. So what does it mean to have harmonics? Well, whenever you want to generate a carrier, let's say you want to generate a 440 hertz carrier, and you might end up generating more than you anticipate, okay? So those are generally multiples of the, of the fundamental. So let's go here, let me change things up a bit. So, oops, so I have the, Ah, everything's moving on me. Um, I have the radio set to 435 megahertz. All right. And uh, I'm going to be using a probing technique using a, a oscilloscope probe into a spectrum analyzer. And I've talked about that before. It's fine a lot of the times. It's not fine a lot of the times. You just need to learn when it's okay to do it, when it's not okay to do it. I did a whole video on these non-contact probes. If you'd rather have non-contact probes, that's okay. But in a transmit circuit, you've got healthy signals and you can just use a scope probe and it's fine. So leave your comments below. Um, so I am going to, I have the radio hooked to a dummy load. I'm going to put my, my scope probe on the antenna connector. So this is the output. All right. And we can see over here, I'm going to transmit trace max hold. Then I don't have to hold any longer. Okay, there we go. All right. So here is our transmit frequency. Okay, we can do a peak on that. It's one, uh, four, I mean, it's 435 megahertz. Okay. And we can look to see if we have any harmonics. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah. So I don't see any harmonics. Um, but does that mean they aren't somewhere else in the radio? Let's see here. Let, let's, let's try to explain this. All right. So let's go back to the final transistor. This is a, an FET transistor. That is the thing that's creating the power. And at, uh, 435 is using this transistor. This transistor is for 144. This transistor is for 440. So we'll go to the uh, collector of this transistor. All right. All right, so we will go to the collector of the 440 section and we'll go back up here and I'll transmit. And you can see that we have some extra things now. Let's do a trace max hold and there we go. Okay, so I think you can see that we have an extra transmission here and here and those are multiple. So this is the 435 if I do a peak right that one's at 870 and this one is not finding it. I don't have my, my thing set up correctly. Let me do, anyway, it's a multiple, right? So it's times two, times three, times four. You, you see multiples of the frequencies, right? So this is at our final amplifier, okay? We have a bunch of harmonics at our final amplifier, which is, which is right here but we don't see it on the output, right? When I go here to the output, I don't see it. So this radio company has figured out how to get rid of those harmonics. And this is what you need to do. All right. So what is between the transistor and the antenna, right? So this is where we generated the, the power, but we're transmitting way over there. What's in between? Well, it's all these little things in here. Okay. So let's zoom down there and I'll, and I'll show you those. Okay, so once again, we are transmitting here and then we go through all of this stuff before we get to the outside world. Now, this little section here is not being used for transmit, it's being used for receive. When you receive on the antenna, it goes through this stuff, but when you transmit, it goes through this stuff. So what is that stuff? Well, it's a filter. It's made of inductors, like one, two, three, four. Here's four inductors. And then a whole bunch of little capacitors. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. A whole bunch of little capacitors, okay? So there's a filter. There's a filter between the final amplifier and the, and the outside world. So what kind of filter is that? It's a low pass filter, okay? So uh, let's draw a picture and talk about low pass filters. 
All right, our final amplifier is going to be some type of uh, FET to ground, and that is usually an inductor, and then uh, the signal comes off of here, okay? And what we are going to do is that we're going to send it through some extra stuff, okay? We might send it through something that looks like this, all right? And then we might follow that up with maybe something that looks like this. All right, and so what I've just drawn is a low-pass filter, all right? So these inductors and capacitors, remember inductors uh, block high frequency, um, and then uh, the capacitors will pass high frequency. So the high frequency will go to ground and that'll kill it. The inductor will stop the high frequency. And so the combination of inductors and capacitors will stop high frequencies from getting to the outside world. So it's going to be a low pass filter. What is a low pass filter? If we draw a graph of frequency versus amplitude, okay, it's going to look, it's going to look something like, it's going to look something like this. All right. And how fast this is depends on how many things you've got. It can be a slow filter or it can be a fast filter. So what you generally do is you pick a filter such that your uh, frequency of interest, let's say right here, let's say that's the 450 megahertz, okay? And then up here, let's say this is uh, here is where 900 megahertz is, okay? And that's double the frequency. And so this filter will attenuate uh, will attenuate your harmonic and your next harmonic will be up here. It's killed that one entirely, right? So depending on how fast your filter is, it, it, it does a better job of, of getting rid of these harmonics. So what do I mean by fast and slow? The filter can drop off like this. That's a faster filter or the, or the filter could drop off very, very slow. Okay. So it depends on what type of harmonics you have and how much attenuation you need. Um, and what your what your pocketbook can can handle. Of course, more and more components here is more and more money, right? And it's not lossless. You will lose a little bit of power. So if you generate five watts here, you might lose you might lose a watt or so going through the uh, going through the filter here. So that's another consideration. But this is what you do. You put a low pass filter in, and uh, I think we see on the traces you start with something like that. And then after you run it through a low pass filter, all of, all of those things are gone and you're just left with that one because these are higher frequencies. That's the lower frequency. That's the one that is within the pass band. And then the filter blocks out the other, uh, the other harmonics.